All right. Um, apparently, Ministry of um, of Agriculture wants to um, create a fine system for for those agricultures who who do not um, who do not report basically uh, of of their um, of their harvests into informational system called the Zirnor grain or who are um who are putting their uh, fake information. I didn't know that such system exists, but apparently apparently um everyone who is well fr- from uh, first of September, so just uh, in a few days, um you if you if you are producing some grain, you would have to you would have to right now it's uh, sort of um right now it is uh, on a voluntary basis and from the 1st of September you would have to you would have to report this uh, the amount of grains that you've harvested into this informational system and apparently uh, more than 90% of um, producers of grains more than 41,000 producers including like smaller uh, smaller um farms and um so on they've they've been already signed into the system it's really interesting actually i mean uh, like a lot of things like that um like when you think about russia or, or belarus i think a lot of people like when you compare these countries like which are very op- obviously bad authoritarian dictatorship pieces of co- just garbage of, of countries um sometimes in terms of like informatization i think you can call it of certain uh, like industries or certain spheres of economy um these countries like again russia belarus ukraine as well um they've been like on top of the game like almost all like pensioners and uh, most of the people working people in belarus have like a debit card where uh, they they've been where they're paid uh, money uh, their salary um while you know like United States doesn't have like a contactless you know um how is it called um contactless t- payments terminals in like 60 or 70% of the facilities it's like what the fuck at least those news uh, those uh information that that the data i read like two three years ago maybe now it's better but um the fact it's like either cash only or just this magnetic uh, card with a stripe that you can't just tap um so on and so forth like um, a lot of things in terms of automation in in terms of like digitalizing and yeah are, are done in in russia and in belarus on like way higher scale than in like countries that you would think would be way ahead like again a lot of countries in europe germany france um, uk whatever united states so on and so forth so on one hand it's interesting but on the other hand obviously once again now people could be sanctioned for that or fined sorry for that and also obviously in terms of um your salaries and so on and so forth if, if it comes only on, on that card um government obviously can track it way easier than if we're talking about cash or or some some other things so i understand that a lot of it is done for controlling people um yeah okay 